Uh, well, it's, it's not going to be so great. It's just like that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, here. Here's about it on the mailing list and 
in. We'll get that rounded up. Yeehaw. All right. Here we go. So uh, you probably know. Woo! Hang on. Can I pull this one? Yeah. Do you want to move the headset? Yeah. No, I'm taking too much time. Just hold it. I'll speak loudly. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, Rocky. Rocky's an entertainment robot. Uh, actually, we performed with a, uh, a rock band called Black Mask. Uh, Black Mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, a skeleton kind of doing it. Uh, uh, it's kind of like a Chuck E. But I don't think Chuck E. Cheese. So we're going to be performing at Redwood City somewhere in the bar somewhere. So if you're over 21 and interested in that, I think the rest of it. Also, he had a little incident with the eyes. I tried to glue him in with some silicon and it started eating the styrofoam. But it gave him this evil kind of Dave Jones locker look, so I'm kind of going with it. Uh, regardless, we also had an incident, this is a little less uh, show, a little more to tell, with Loco Mo, the, the computer died. So, ooh, has our speaker shown up yet? All right. So I've, uh, it looks like, um, well, I, fortunately I have another computer with Ubuntu and, and Ross, actually it's the, Late, later Ross, I believe it's the latest, it's Hydro, is that the latest? Yeah. Yes. All right, so uh, we'll start all over again with that and we'll try to run the Vito node on it and uh, trying to uh, bring it to the um, Hacker Dojo, they've got a Ross users group there, Meetup, um, and um, uh, try and demonstrate my uh, mapping anyways, I'm having a little trouble localizing and navigating. But uh, we can draw a half decent map sometimes. So uh, that's all I've got. Thank you very much. Ross the Users Group Meetup is uh, February 19, I believe. Actually, it's the same day that the SIG, the HBRC Special Interest Group, which meets the week before the real meeting. Okay. Okay. Come on.
Can't tell my volume. Can you guys hear me in back okay? Yeah. Yeah. So we're here to talk about Mean Plus. I guess I'm talking about it. Um, okay. Well, this is our, this is the Bean Plus. We have the, uh, what was it, about a year ago? We were here with the Bean Pro. Uh, there's uh, some kind of listening problem. The, the Wi Fi, I think, is potentially an issue. Do you want to hang out and call again? I don't know. Anyway, he'll be back in a second. The, the Wi Fi signal here. Is I think among the uh, hundreds of people with cell phones and everything in their pocket right now. Yeah. With the application. So the application. I'll, I'll show the application. We can just do it with a bunch of delay. I don't know what. Come on. We can't tell the lip sync is bad from back here. Yeah, that's okay. It's <laughs> annoying. Though. The video is going on. Great. Okay, I'll talk about it for a second. So this is Beam Plus. Um, we just uh, debuted this at CES this year, and um, we're going to. Oh, here he is. Okay. Sorry, this thing is a little better now. Yes. Prototype. <laughs> yeah. Latent battery. Yeah, we're not shipping until summer, so we got a lot of little bugs to work out. But I don't miss what Kirk was saying there, but this is basically the little brother of the Beam Pro. We took all the features and functionality out of the Beam Pro and stripped out everything we possibly could to make it as cheap as possible, and this is our consumer version. So um, this is designed for the home. It's priced at basically $2,000, and actually right now, for a limited time, you can sign up and pre-orders for a thousand dollars or nine hundred and ninety-five dollars or something like that. I think so. Um, half price. Yeah. Half can you, can you tell us about some of the features of this has in case you want to go there? Um. So this still has two cameras. It has a head camera with a wide-angle view, so I can. To have a good view of my surroundings. It also has a nav camera down below underneath the head. This allows me to see the floor and the feet and the ground um, and kind of watch where I'm going. We have a four microphone array up in the head. Um, we still don't have that all completely tuned yet, so it's, we're having some audio issues. Um, have a speaker. This one's not as loud as the Beam Pro, so if I was on the Beam Pro right now, I would not need the microphone, but um, for residential home use, we have a speaker on here that's pretty good. Much better than any sort of tablet speaker and microphone system that the tablet might have. Um, we have brushless motors down at the base. These um, give a very smooth, quiet, Control, um, potentially very reliable, time, time will only tell. And nice lead absent battery down in the base for good weight and balance uh, for stability. Oh, sorry, I tried to drive on saying that. Oh, it's really stable. The, the cameras are also high dynamic range cameras that shoot videos. So if you've ever done like a high dynamic range photography, this does it in real time at 30 frames per second. And there's some headlights. Um, also, just so uh, this is the dock. You also get the dock included. It's for the 995 price. So if you've ever built a robot, you know how quickly the price can add up. So you know, pre-order one and take it apart. I don't care. <laughs> The more we sell, the better. Um, you know, it's got a computer, a screen, batteries, motors, everything inside, charging station. Um, yeah, and this, this we're not, we don't consider these robots. They're you know, completely teleoperated. They don't do anything autonomously. Um, as far as for a home, we consider it in, in even me pro, it's a device. It's a remote presence device. Usually, to describe it to the average Joe Schmo, they understand it into the remote presence robot. They kind of visualize that a little bit better, but it's really not a 
a little hot for Spain. Where are you physically? I'm in Indiana. So I work from out of my home every day using actually the Meeting Pro. This is a little shorter for me to interact with everybody on a daily basis. But um, and it doesn't have all the creature comforts of a Meeting Pro. My parents have one at house, and my parents love to uh, interact with the grandchildren. Um, so, and after this, like after the, the talk today, we can show the how the client works and what it looks like to drive one around if anyone's interested. Very good. Very good.
this is our new robot. It's called Xenon. 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 Uh, right now, this is basically rolls around. We're going to put the two arms on the head and do a little bit of fire. And, uh, and we're going to hopefully have a talk. Uh, we tell the president that you should be able to talk through it, have some interact a little bit. That's basically it, really, because we're still working on it. We're working on it. We felt it was still working on it.